Kelsey of Nested Sleep. Thank you so much for joining today. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to use a reward system to develop sleep wins. So reward systems can be used for a variety of different things in order to get your child to be sleeping better and having a better bedtime routine. So we're going to talk about the top four ways that you can use a reward system for your child's sleep. The first thing would be if you're having any bedtime resistance or what I like to call curtain calls. So in this scenario, uh, say your child was, they are an independent sleeper, you know they can do it, but they're coming out frequently. I want a glass of water. I need another hug. Okay, well, you know that they can do it, and so you're implementing a reward system to help them to stay in their bed once they have that motivating factor. A second thing you could look at is if your child is having middle of the night wake ups. Now it's always normal for kids to occasionally wake up due to a nightmare or sound or even after their sleep cycle has finished. But if this is something that's becoming a pattern, you really want to nip it in the butt. So you can use a reward system for that. The third thing would be if your child is having early morning awakenings and now they're in that you know preschool age and up then you could use a toddler clock, you could use the hatch or rise to wake clock to show them a certain color light when they need to wake in the morning. And if they can wait until it turns that color, they'll get a reward. And then the fourth thing would be is if you're having to develop or add to the bedtime routine or to the wake up routine. This was actually all prompted by working with our son to develop a good morning routine and be able to get dressed independently and come down in a quick matter for, manner for breakfast. So those are the top four reasons that you might want to use a sleep reward system and put that in place. So what age would this be good for? When would you really want to implement a reward system for your child? And positive reinforcement, that can really start at a very, very young age, months even. But what we're talking about today in terms of an actual sleep reward system, think preschool age and up. So around age three and up that you can use a reward system. And there are four different types of rewards that we're going to be talking about. So the first one would be affection. So that would be is, you know, you'd give a hug, you could give a kiss if they're meeting the uh, desired outcome. The second reason would be praise. You've done such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Things like that. The third thing would be a special activity that you may do together, a reward such as you're going to go to the zoo just with mom, some alone time there, or you're going to go to the movies with dad. So those are types of rewards. And then the fourth thing would be an item. So either a toy or an object, a book, something tangible that you're looking at. So those are the four different types of rewards. And then when we talk about reward systems, um, so there's various types of reward programs. So some people may choose to use a sticker chart and when they meet that desired outcome or that behavior that you're looking for, say to stay in bed, then in the morning they would get a sticker on that sticker chart. What we've been using recently is what's called a marble jar or it can be any type of object that you're putting into a jar to collect. So we just used what's like a baby food jar and um, basically we chose to put three small hearts in in the morning when he met the outcome of getting dressed independently. And then when you fill up the jar, then a prize was given. So that's worked very nicely. It takes, you know, a jar like this and this size to fill with marbles or objects it takes about a week and a half or so. Um, usually when you talk about behavioral change with kids, really after a few weeks that behavior is kind of set in. So some parents are often like, well I don't want to always give them a prize, you know, just for staying in their bed, going to sleep independently. You don't want that to become the pattern, right? Well, once you again have done this for a week or two, then that pattern is starting to just be in place. And so the prize isn't needed forever. It's really just needed um, for about one or two times of this size jar. 
And you know, you don't wanna use a jar that's too, too big because again, especially at that preschool age, they need um, that, that kind of reinforcement or that focus. And so a small jar is best, um, but that tends to, to work out really well. And you can, again, same thing with the sticker chart, just choosing what you want that prize to be, what types of praise you're gonna give at the end. Um, and usually I recommend that even if you decide you're going to give an object, say a toy or a book, you still wanna be giving all of that praise and affection building up to it. You know, I'm so proud of you, you're doing such a great job, and that really can work wonders. So hopefully this was a helpful episode for you guys to learn all about how to use a reward system for sleep wins. Have a great day.